one of the questions which I love to ask, and I think it's something that, you know, I think people will get genuinely kind of uh, value from, is that if you were to give advice to your younger self and you can pick whichever age or an age range or whatever you kind of wish, what would it be? I'll keep this one short because I know we're running out of time, but I had a traumatic event happen to me when I was 20. Um, my best friend uh, was murdered and I'm okay now, but it was a very hard time. And I actually quit my journalism degree that I, I always wanted to be a writer and a broadcast journalist. So it was, um, it was a hard time, but what I found is at that time I stopped writing. Mm -hmm. I stopped writing for about nine years and it's only recently that I've started writing again, started blogging, started doing social media, just sharing my thoughts on things that matter to me. So I would say if I could give myself advice at that time, I would like to say stop, you know, don't stop writing, you know, keep going. But actually I needed that break. Um, so I think for anyone, something that's really powerful is you are exactly where you need to be. Mm -hmm. So that is something that helps me every day. I think that, you know, if I'm going through something or if I'm feeling a certain way, or, you know, if say your business is not going the way you want it to, sometimes you have to really consider, well, are you putting the work in that you should be, or are you spending your time on the right things? But also sometimes you need to be in that difficult place because if you don't experience that, you can't contribute in the way that you need to. Yeah. Um, and that's been something that's been really powerful. I'd like to leave your listeners with uh, something that really resonated with me yesterday. Um, I like to read every day and I read Brendan Burchard is a well-known um, speaker around the world. He speaks on high performance habits and he has a great book. But one of his quotes is about success tax. And it's basically many of us want the success, but we're not prepared to pay the, the price of doubt and failure and you know fear we're not prepared to sit with those feelings and so actually if you are starting a business and feeling sad or whatever it might be um weird frustrated that success tax is the pain you have to go through for your success and that has really helped me because i think one of the things that i you know i know you're on instagram same as i am as well but there's you get i think too many people and too many memes and the gifts <clears throat> where they talk about Oh, the, the path to success isn't this, it's that. But I, I think the problem is, is that that's not personal. You know, that's just a graphic that you kind of relate to and it might be motivational. But I almost think part of the reason why I wanted to do this, but like talk to real people in a way that, you know, I'd have the same conversation in a coffee shop is almost because it's when it makes it real to people I know. Does that make sense? Because it, yeah. then it's not just a stupid concept where, because this is also the, the other thing as well very few people will actually admit when they're struggling and I, I mean admit publicly so you know someone i i know uh once admitted that um i'm trying to think how to phrase it but almost she thought everyone else was doing brilliantly you know she was like i i'm not earning as much money as i thought i'm finding it harder everyone else seems to be magical on a pedestal polished whatever and it was just because it was everyone's polished kind of instagram type whatever but it wasn't genuine and i think it's one of the things that when i talk to people almost i think most people have a very good bullshit meter and they can tell when someone's taking the piss or not that you know you can't fake or for me you can't fake video so there's lots of people that i will see interviews and just at the back of my you know gut i just don't like them i just don't trust them and you know that's where again different people resonate with different people but I think this is why this kind of format, you know, there'll be people that have never met you before, but they might know me. And then the fact that we've had a conversation, they might add you and they might start to connect. And actually, sorry, um, you know, if you can do it, they can do it too. Because it's, you know, and that's why I was very keen to kind of start having these conversations.